Okay, hi everybody. Terrified beekeeper here. Uh, it's install time. Uh, bare hands. Go in bare hands. They say don't use gloves, so I'm trying it, but you better bet my gloves are in my back pocket and they're ready if they're needed. Uh, I've got my cool Apollo helmet uh, hood on just because, dang, it's cool. Uh, I'm ready to do install. You can see it, behind. I'm calling it install, by the way. That's what they say to call it, is the install. I feel kind of like a jerk saying it, but whatever. Anyway, uh, sugar water, you have bees, hive, everything. I got this thing in the probably best position in the entire property uh, for bees. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a great position for bees, but uh, it's what we've got. So, uh, anyway. I got it phasing 121 degrees southeast. And at this point I think I'm just stalling to kill time because I'm really friggin nervous about this. Which brings me to another point. Um, I apologize for any profanity that shows up, but um, <clears throat> you know, we do what we can. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, you know, I forgot to bring a nail. I just realized that maybe I can use my, uh, I got something on my keys that might work, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I better go get one. That would allow me to stall for a little more time. So, kids, uh, be right back. Terrified beekeeper back. Uh, all right, I think I'm ready to go. I got my uh, hive tool here in this convenient hive tool pocket. Got a nail somewhere in here to push through the queen candy. And I uh, think I'm ready to go. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray down my bees with some of this uh, sugar water here. Of course, it doesn't want to work. Okay, hey, sprayer. Dude, I just bought you. What is your problem? Oh, there we go. Jeez. No, I read that you, know, you can't over spray your bees. Uh, so I'm gonna give that a try, just because that'll help sort of push them down, keep them calm, get them sticky, get them thinking less about stinging me. Okay, that seems pretty good. Okay, now next thing I'm gonna do, drag up this rock here. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pry this up and try to get the queen cage out. Do I have everything I need before I get started? I have sugar syrup on my hands. Man. Okay. Maybe I need to... Okay. Prying them up. Prying them up. Stay down, bees, stay down. Okay, don't mind me, bees. Just your friendly local beekeeper trying to get his, get his colony started. You know, that's just it, that's just, that's all. That's just, that's all it is. You don't need to be nervous. I don't need to be nervous. All right, there's my sugar can. Put that over there. It's been feeding the bees while they were in transit. Okay, there's a staple here. I'm supposed to be able to pull up real easily. Somebody's been lying to me. Okay, come on, staple. Seriously, this is supposed to be the world's longest staple. Okay, I don't like you, staple. Okay, now. This staple I'm going to put on top of the sugar can so that I don't leave it for our landlord to mow. Okay. So I'm going to take the queen cage out. Okay, bees. What in the world? Okay. You know, these videos on YouTube just make this so easy seeming. Okay. Here's the queen. Let me see if I can spot her. Mm. Okay. There's the queen cage. Um, yeah, there she is. 
it's got a little uh, orange or yellow on her. I don't know if that's in focus or not. I can't see a bleeding thing through this <coughs> helmet. <coughs> so what I'm supposed to do is take my nifty uh, tool here. I'm just going to pry this out. And of course the videos show this being just the simplest thing. You just, you know, hey, no problem, right? Naturally, when I get to it, what happens? I tear the cork all to pieces. All right, now, got that out. Now I put my nail <coughs> in here. Excuse me, I don't know why I'm coughing. Maybe I'm allergic to bees or something. That's not funny. Naturally, my nail has flown the coop. Oh, wait, there it is. <coughs> okay. I'm going to stick this back in my nifty little, little uh, hive tool thingy here. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, now I'm going to just poke a hole down in the candy. Uh, nail's not necessarily really all that long. Would have been nice to have a longer nail, but oh well. Bees are industrious little things. They all figure it out. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, facing down, I'm going to put, let me, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put my queen cage in here. Just like so. Easy peasy. Now, here we go. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to respray. Yeah, a little better spray on this thing. It was more of a stream. I don't really want to do that. Well, that's too much, isn't it? There we go. A little better. Okay. There is a significant portion of me right now that is ready to run as fast as I can. I have to admit that. I am not this brave. This is really starting to get to me. Okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off. I'm going to dump the bees in there, put the frames back in that I've taken out because I took some frames out. I think I'm stalling again. Okay, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to do that, then I'm going to put my feeder on, fill it up, put the outer cover on it. I'm not going to put the inner cover on right now because... I've got the feeder on there, and I think that's right. But hey, out there in internet land, if you know better, uh, post it, you know, post it uh, down below. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to, you think I can get away with spraying them one more time? All right, fine. Okay. Okay. Jay, this is what you need to do, man. Okay. No problems here, because I got it under control. Okay. Okay, this should be no problem. <laughs> There's always time for bee pun humor. Okay, I did a bad job there. And I knocked the cover down into it. Now what I'm just gonna do, I'm going to dump these bees. I hope you can see this because this is something out of my nightmares. Okay. Okay, last little bit here. I'm gonna put this right in front so that they'll get the get the scent and uh, fly on in. You know that just why why don't things ever work for me? All right, there that's good enough. You know. Um, now I've got my bee brush here, and I'm gonna just brush these guys sort of off. I don't want to squish anybody. Sorry guys. All right. So far zero stings by the way. I don't want to jinx myself. But uh, there we go. So now I should have a lot of people off of there. A lot of these bees. Okay now I'm going to do what I say. I'm going to slide. Slide there. There's a couple dead bees in here. Um, they're hard at work on this queen package already. Okay. 
Okay, now I squished one. Sorry about that, girly. Can't be very comfortable, I will have to concede. Okay, now I've got my sugar syrup here. Fill that up. And this thing is supposed to float on top of the sugar and the bees are going to find it and that's going to make them want to uh, come up here and do their thing. Yeah, naturally I only made enough to fill one of the two reservoirs. Because if I had done them both that would have been, you know, good planning, right? Never been my forte. Uh, okay. So now I think I've done everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the uh, the outer cover and put it on, and then I'm going to get the heck out of here. Okay. Again, remember that part about planning? I forgot to put the other frames in. Okay. Well, then let's do this. Let's take this thing which is now very heavy on one side and one side only, and I spilled it everywhere. Oh, this is really fun. Okay, I'm glad I paid so much to get into this hobby. And I'm gonna try to slide, put these frames in without uh, bothering anybody or squishing too many of them. They are active, aren't you? Hey, there's a tick on that one. I hope you get stung to death, you little vermin. I hate you guys. Not a funny story that will help me take my mind off this. This morning I had a tick on my leg when I woke up. I guess the amusing part of that is I got it because one of my chickens got out after I went out to get the, the eggs out of, out of the coop. and She got out and she ran away and my wife and I... and nice neighbor of ours, just met yesterday chasing chickens, uh, came and helped us get, a, get her back in. Okay, now, now I've remembered to put all the whew, frames in. Gently, I'm sorry, I need to be more gentle with you ladies. Sweeping them. Let's get the, uh, let's get the feeder. Don't want to get stung getting the feeder back on. And I may squish you ladies. So watch out. Okay, that looks good. I have my outer cover. The ladies have already found that. Watch out everybody. I really don't want to squish you. Okay, I've got that pushed all the way forward. My bees are installed. Holy crap, uh, that was scary. But you know, I've got my entrance reducer in place, right? Yeah, I got my hive tool. Um, you know, I'm gonna try and get all this stuff out of here. But uh, overall, I'm feeling like this went pretty well. So far, knock on wood, zero stings. We'll see how that continues. But uh, for now, boy, couldn't have gone much more smoothly, don't you think? I mean, except for forgetting all that stuff, but. Yeah. That happens. So, okay, that's not really a very good place for that bee brush, but whatever. Uh, okay, I'm just going to grab my stuff and get out of here. So, uh, anyway, till later, I think my wife is calling. Uh, it's been the terrified beekeeper installing his first package of bees. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope you were entertained. And I'll see you in a week.